What up guys, it's Sarahe. So the Destiny 2 beta has been out for a couple of days and I definitely think it's about time that I bring you guys my first impressions. But anyways, if you're new here, I've basically been playing Destiny since pre-alpha and I have been covering Destiny since pre-alpha. So if you're interested in some Destiny 2 content, hit that fucking subscribe button because the game is a month away and I do have a couple of uh, Destiny 2 beta videos coming soon that you might not want to miss. Anyways, enough shit talking, let's get to my first impressions. My biggest critique with Destiny 2 Beta is that it takes 85, no, not 85, 100, no, not 100, 300,000 years to get your damn super. Alright, like in this strike that you guys are seeing right here, the inverted spire, um, you know, when, when I don't do the infinite super glitch, by the way, I probably get my super about maybe two to three times or so. By the way, do you guys want a video on like an infinite super tutorial? Because I know how to do it. Um, but anyways, basically, I really don't like that it takes... Uh, a long time for you to get your super in PvE as well as PvP honestly uh, I hope that when we get the base you know game when we get the actual Destiny 2 game that it doesn't really take forever to actually get your super because the reason one of the biggest reasons why Destiny 2 PvE is enjoyable it's because of the super it's because of the satisfaction that you get when you just activate your mixtape sword and then you throw your mixtape at people and then they pretty much burn down to the fucking ground so that's honestly something that I hope it gets fixed in, you know, when Destiny 2 does come out. Uh, the lead PvE guy uh, for the Destiny 2 beta, he did go on record and he did say that uh, some of the issues that people are addressing will be fixed by the time the main game is released because this build of the beta, it's like months old, which probably, you know, they made this build before E3. So obviously, you know, I pretty much understand where they're coming from because another issue that I have with the Destiny 2 beta, another critique that I have that, again, they already addressed on the weekly update or the This Week at Bungie um, article, which, by the way, I did a video on yesterday, so you should probably check that out. But anyways... An issue that they addressed is that, yeah, you know, it does take forever to get power ammo. Uh, it definitely also, you know, feels as if grenades don't really do anything to enemies. So they're going to be fixing that when the main game is out. But anyways, enough about what I don't like. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I talk about what I do like, I just have to say one thing. And I actually don't have any gameplay, but I should have gotten a gameplay. But you guys know if you guys have been playing the Destiny 2 beta, uh, you know, consistently... Uh, specifically since now it's not just a, a closed beta it's an open beta but anyways the nova bomb it's garbage now all right like i don't understand how ikora can throw a nova bomb that travels very very quickly but our guardian can't throw a nova bomb that travels quickly the nova bomb is just way too slow like i was playing crucible on stream uh it's actually my it's a, it's a stream called destiny 2 beta high but if you guys go check out that stream all right, you guys see that there's a guy that throws a Nova Bomb at me, and I basically see it, and I just simply walk to the side, and the Nova Bomb doesn't get me. And I'm like, holy shit, is the Nova Bomb really that slow in Destiny 2? And yeah, the, in the Destiny 2 beta, the Nova Bomb is very, very slow. I hope they increase the velocity of the Nova Bomb, because I've seen a lot of clips where people just throw the Nova Bomb at enemies, and by the time the bomb actually gets to the enemies, the enemies just basically move out of the way. So that's another thing that I don't really like about um, the Destiny 2 beta. Let's talk about what I do like, man. This super right here that you guys are seeing in the background, Daybreak, or of course, uh, you know, pe people call it Dawnblade, but the super is actually called Dayblade. But anyways, the Dawnblade, uh, you know, subclass for the Warlock, it's amazing. I like that now when you're in midair, you can like press circle two times to do kind of like a Twilight Garrison type movement. I love that, all right? Uh, the Warlock feels super, super amazing. Now, my first class in Destiny 2 was actually the Hunter, because, you know, when Destiny 1 first came out, there was like a Blade Dancer bandwagon and all that stuff, so I was one of those people. Shame on me. God damn it. Fucking Hunter scrub. Shame on you, Salvaje. But anyways, the point is, I was a Blade Dancer, and then I was a Warlock, and then I pretty much became a Titan main, but I do have to say, when Destiny 2 does come out, I have no second thoughts. I am going to choose the Warlock, and hopefully... They buffed the fucking Nova Bomb, alright, because I'm pretty sure that when Destiny 2 actually comes out, that we're not going to be receiving the new subclasses. That we're, like, we're going to have the old subclasses, like uh, Striker, and Gunslinger, and Voidwalker, and then later on in the game, we actually get the subclasses. By the way, uh, real quick, a major critique that I had with the Taken King is that you basically got your new subclasses and they it didn't re even really matter or they didn't really tie into the Taken King storyline to defeat Oryx. I hope that in Destiny 2, uh, when we get the new uh, abilities like Dawnblade and all that stuff, uh, I hope in Destiny 2 we actually 
you know, the subclasses actually tie in into the actual story about defeating Gaul and all that good stuff, okay? But anyways, the Dawn Blade, I'm completely enjoying it. The Sentinel is amazing. I love it. I can't wait to get my hands on the other perk tree that the Sentinel has where you can actually throw two fucking shields. That's going to be fucking amazing. Uh, pretty much the, my favorite thing about the Sentinel, honestly, it's that... Um, so okay, so basically you can be offensive with it with the shield and you can be defensive with it as in like you can actually move with the shield itself or if you want to be defensive at a, at, a, at a main position, you can actually just pop in the Word of Dawn, which I have actually popped in by accident. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But anyways, I like that the Word of Dawn also came back and honestly, if the Word of Dawn wouldn't have been in Destiny 2, I would have kind of been disappointed when it comes down to the Titan class because the Word of Dawn is one of my favorite supers in Destiny hands down, alright? Even though, you know, Blade Dancer is pretty flashy, even though Sunbreaker is pretty cool, Word of Dawn is amazing and it definitely helps out a lot in PvE. It's a really, really good super. Anyways... Uh, the Arc Strider, you know, honestly, I think it's pretty cool as well. Never really was a Hunter guy, and honestly, I think Arc Strider, it's kind of like another version of Blade Dancer, just that now he has a staff. So I don't really think Arc Strider is all that cool, to be honest. But hey, you know, everybody has their likings, and I'm 100% sure there are a lot of people out there that like the Arc Strider. And if you want to see four minutes of Arc Strider gameplay, I actually made a video on that, so why don't you check that out? Anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much it, honestly, when it comes down to my Destiny 2 beta first impressions. If you're new here, you might as well subscribe, because there is Destiny 2 content coming in the way, as well as some spicy Overwatch content. Oh, Doomfist comes out next week. God damn it, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys in the next one, and let me know your thoughts and first impressions on the Destiny 2 beta in the comment sections below. Peace out, boys.